Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half, and we've already reached the hardest part of the game, which is trying to remember to actually look at the info of who made each level. Um, wait, oops, that's the wrong button. So yeah, Yoshi's house we already saw, this level we already saw. Janktown, USA, I feel like this is an FT29 level. Nope, it's Snorant Pyro, apparently. <laughs> it felt like FT29 to me. Mandu, I expected that one since I remembered Mandu made another hack with the bat in it, so. We've got Over Hills and Valleys, Wither Skelly, uh, I've never heard of that person, but it was a fun level, so good on them, I suppose. We've also got Hot Kicking, Lol Yoshi, alright. And Spooky Cave by Winter Wither Skelly again. So yeah, I want to take another look at Hot Kicking for a second. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Uh, I think I got decently close on one of my attempts, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we've got no HUD, and it looks like we're gonna be playing a level with a whole bunch of 1FO. Let's see, these just go down as well, but, well, I'm just tanking that hit. Gotta get the dragon coin after all. Stomp on you. At least the dragon coins still off, still show up on my HUD. Oh, that's cool. I solved that puzzle without actually figuring it out. Works for me. You can both die. Okay, so it looks like I need to jump on that, then jump around and land on the platform. And then that one just fell into place, which is good because I didn't wasn't really paying that much attention to it. If I actually needed to interact with it at all, that wouldn't have worked out so well. Let's grab another shell, because those are always useful, and I'm assuming there's power up in here, so definitely want to solve this puzzle. Oh, uh, you're going to do that, so got to be careful. Okay, so how does this work? It looks like I want to trigger the platform to make it land on the thing, and then get back up, so we All right, don't even need that extra thing. And the spikes aren't in my way anymore, which is good. Alright, gonna get rid of this. Don't want it to kill the Koopa when I land on it, that would be bad. Alright, let's just jump across, and now I jump back. Okay, good. Easy peasy. And then... Oh. Okay. So I want to be careful, because I don't want to miss out on that dragon coin. Doesn't look like I want to step on the one on the right. I think I want to step on this one, then go in the pipe. Nope, that doesn't work. Alright. So in that case, I think I want to drop this down and let him kick it into the block. Hopefully I haven't messed this up already. Good. Duck jump across, and it looks like he can make it up here, so we're good there. Looks like there's some blocks there that I might want to throw a throw block at. Nice. I wonder what the second one is. But I can't really tell. All right. So now here's the midpoint. Kind of a tricky power-up to get to. This jump isn't like super easy. There we go, got it. <laughs> the block is there so that the chuck actually jumps up the ledge and s instead of not doing that because it's semi-solid. That was a dumb time to jump. At least that's what my power-ups are for. Um, well, that was close. Does it even matter? Oh, this is to get the mushroom. Okay, so it does matter. Okay, so what is this now? I have to try and predict what's coming up because I don't want to miss a dragon coin. Okay, that's just what it is. It doesn't look like it can slip into there. There might be some way to do it, honestly, but... Okay. So yeah, that one on the left goes to the right. And now we can get over here. Perfect. Alright, uh, you can get out of my way, Chuck. 
Alright, so there's a dragon coin. Definitely want to get that. I probably don't want to step on the leftmost one, is my guess. Good. That goes down, and wow, I'm running out of time. It would help if I could actually see that I had a timer, but... Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, down here? Jump! We. There might be a one half at the end, too. And hopefully a dragon coin, for that matter. Uh, what is it telling me to do? Oh, it's telling me that there's a dragon coin in there. Oh. When I hit the switch, they stop. But this was basically perfect anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Works for me. Hopefully I'm not running out of time too much. I really wish I could see what my time was. There we go. Finish was right there, so no big deal. Yeah, what a cool level. <laughs> Lots of neat little uses of 1FO. And by restricting it to, like, the 1FO interacting with the platforms and whatnot, it gives it a very distinct feel compared to some other 1FO levels. Helium Caverns. Probably with a pea balloon. We've got plenty of time again, so I can dilly-dally for at least 400 seconds, if nothing else. Okay, the pea balloon is just sitting there. That works. Is there anything up here, though? I suspect not, but... Oh, it looks like there might actually be something up there. Either that is tricking me, and I can move very fast in the pea balloon compared to usual. Oh, wow, it's a moon. Well, that's a nice find, especially considering I threw away all my lives trying to mess around in hot kicking. Oh, but now I have to get up here. Shouldn't have gone all the way to the bottom, but that was pretty close. You die. You die. He's not technically dead, but whatever. Close enough. Okay. So, I gotta be careful because... Pea balloon physics aren't gonna work like I expect them to. Alright, I probably have a lot more time than the other time because I'm not going for a moon, which generally tend to imply some sort of added challenge, even just beyond finding it. Nice. Dragon coin number one. I don't think I've missed any. I don't know where I would have missed any. Okay, I cannot see what's below me. I should have at least been able to see that guy, but apparently not. <laughs> I mean, I could see him, it's just that I was being an idiot. Okay, so go under this pollen. We're good. Uh, we're not good. Yeah, I wasn't gonna make it any farther after that. <laughs> Nature of Helium Balloons as being a one-hit KO. Shouldn't have tried to risk that, or I should have ducked into the pee at the start, one or the other. Nake my way through this, and I still messed it up. This time I'll stop trying to rush it so much. This probably wants me to wait just a little bit. I'm not sure if I can sneak along the ceiling there by duck pee ballooning, whatever that's supposed to be. Uh, I can get under these pretty easily with the super fast pee balloon. Oh, there's a dragon coin. Don't want to miss that. Got it. Easy enough time to make it in there. I think the people balloon lasts for the same amount of time, but... Oh. Okay, I was wondering if that was just going to be lava or something. I was wondering why there would be a pit there. Well, why do that? I may as well leave those there in case I take a hit on this obstacle. Whatever. Whoa. Okay, we're going straight back into this. <laughs> No time to catch my breath. Above this guy, below this guy. Uh, by this guy the second time I meant the pollen, obviously, but... Uh, no dragon coins down there. Gotta spend just enough time to check, but... Oh, that ground is a uh, red herring. Okay, I almost panicked and did something there, but... It worked out. Let's scroll the screen just a little bit so that I can actually see what's going on. I'm going to grab the... Okay, good. Let's hold the jump button so I fall a little bit slower off that block. Very important in this case. Alright. Don't know if that ducking is necessary at all, but... Alright, I have plenty of time to see that this guy is there. I'm pretty sure I'm intended to wait for him. The... 
I was about to say the screen wouldn't scroll, but I pressed the wrong button. Uh, let's hope he doesn't get to spit pollen at me again. Nope. Got plenty of time to grab this, hopefully. Wait, where am I going? Oh, right there. Ugh, oh, my one up burned. <laughs> I, I feel like that was very deliberate. <laughs> Just like, oh, you're gonna get a free one up. Let's let's make it a little bit more toasty. Well, we got all the dragon coins, so that's pretty good. Bastion two blue. So in the first jump, the first castle was a very blue castle. You know, let's do it with Luigi. Luigi hasn't gotten a lot of action yet. Got to show him off at least a little bit, right? I think his physics are the same, but his animations are a little bit different. Whoops. Well, that's helpful. Thanks. Are any of these going to be useful? Maybe this is a one-up. Yeah, there's the one I want. The first one's useful if it's a mushroom, though, so I can't knock it too hard. Power-ups are pretty nice. Alright, so... I mean, you can't even really do the Kaizo trick here, because... If you do that, then you don't get the Dragon Coin, so... And that kind of defeats the purpose. Oh. Uh, there... My... T that... That requires a little bit of care, because while a block is bouncing, it can still kill the Koopa, so... Saying these things out loud at least makes me remember to actually do them. Like... Alright, I hope I didn't need that block for anything, because it's gone. Uh, let's keep this one just in case. No. It might have been helpful not to keep that one. Alright, get that out of the way. Stand on that guy. The thwomp won't go down because the left block is solid. Still. Uh, that's not a fire-breathing one, so let's just let the thwomp go down and let that guy fall. And this is a block that I can stand on, so we're good. Alright, so... Okay, I get the trick here. We want to stomp on the dry bones and uh, then grab the block, let him fall, and then... Well, dang it. And now we wait an extra 5 to 10 seconds. 7 seconds to be exact, I think. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So I'll grab two, jump back up, and then grab the other two. Well, that didn't work. I got trigger happy and kept pressing the button, so even though I kind of understood how to do it, I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, well, the saw is gone, so win for me, I guess. Alright, another mushroom. Because it's a mushroom, I can actually get it. The saw must have respawned there, I think. Uh, let's kill one of those. I hope I didn't need that for like a dragon coin or something. I technically did, but I really don't. Uh, sacrifice to that power-up was totally worth it. Yeah, don't want to throw the second one up there too, or it's going to collide with the first one. Alright, this isn't a boss door, which is a good sign because... Okay, so these things allow me to grab blocks infinitely, and I can continue going there. I don't... I don't know what the coin was for. It looked like it was setting up a choice or something, but then it was not a choice. It was, you just grab them both, if you really care that much about the coin. No. Um... Grab the grab block. For a second I was thinking, do I have to spin jump on the grab block? And it's like, oh yeah, obviously I just need to... Let's not get trigger happy this time. Well, <laughs> great throw. I couldn't have managed that one if I tried. Alright, let's not kill the thwomp or do anything too strange. This level should be over soon, I hope. Oh. Well, I guess I failed at the too strange part. <laughs> um. Alright. Let that one go up. Oh, well, that was not good timing. Whatever, we got all of them now. That gets saved, so... Alright, best thing to do is let that guy go through and just run past. Okay, if there's a boss, I am, whoa, 
I'm, I'm almost going to run out of time for a different reason. <laughs> uh, no wonder the, if you save the block, you get the power up. All right, we got Big Boo, same as the first time we did this level. Had to take a risk there because I do not have much time left. Even, even with that sweet move, I don't know if I'm actually going to kill him in time. Especially if I do something like that. All right, I don't know if this block is going to last long enough. Ah, that was so close, but I couldn't get away from the spike in time after throwing the block into the boo. Oh, wait, that wasn't the spike. I actually did run the time. Ah, if I had just gotten that second hit off cleanly. Oh, but there was the one up mushroom, so I can just go back to the boss. Well, no real loss now. Now I just get to kill an easy big boo fight. <laughs> Still, though, the fact that I ran out of time is kind of amusing. It's not something you usually have to worry about. Dang it. Whatever. Just smack him in the face with one again. I have to wonder if anything happens there if I stand in the center gap when the boo makes the springs disappear because that was kind of a thing in the original jump but I have a f some strange feeling that if I do that I'll actually just die so I'm not going to try it <laughs> I mean they're good castle defense if you're Mario uh, not, not so much if you're the enemy it's like stacking your house with free guns for, like, just sitting on the table with the label, uh, take me if you're gonna rob me, where no man lands. It's gonna be a pun, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think I'm get getting the feeling of this level. It's going to be a level with no actual ground. It's just gonna be all platforms and Koopas and all that sort of stuff. To jump higher on green springboards, don't press left or right until you hear a sound. If you don't hear anything, increase volume. Well, I can hear things just fine, so... I haven't... I've never really had that much of a problem with the green springy thing, so I'm not too concerned. Especially since it, the game was kind enough to give me a cape here. See, look, just float over everything and pretend that was on purpose. <laughs> Uh, yeah, see, the cape just kind of shatters this level right open because I'm not even bothering with half of these obstacles. Oh, I had to bother with that one. It bothered me right in the face. Float over here. <laughs> I can just keep bouncing on the Koopas. Huh, and because it's right next to the edge of the screen, I don't walk off. This level was really cool, and I just realized that I am still forgetting to check out who made each level. So, Offline Fencing was Continue and Save, uh, created by Lazy. Yeah, Lazy's got some really good, nice levels. Snore and Pyro for Helium Caverns. Lol Yoshi for Bastion 2 Blue. Of course, we can save anywhere, so the saves only somewhat matter. I kind of wish that the saves occurred after every level to prevent me from forgetting about saving, but... X-Fix. Considering it isn't really a game mechanic when you can just save anywhere. Lol Yoshi and Jabri's Sunset. <laughs> this is what God feels like. Feel like, sorry. Gotta get that spelling mistake right. And God feels like no HUD, apparently. If you bounce high on these note blocks, you will be launched into heaven. I have a feeling that if Bowser is leaving me that note, it's a poor choice. So let's do it. <laughs> wow. I mean, uh, he, he wasn't lying, necessarily. Let's see. Okay, so as long as I don't hold the jump button, I'm good. What happens if I do it here? Okay, I'm still safe here. So... 
really the point of this level is I need to make, make sure not to hit the ceiling. The ceiling is just as dangerous as a hole. Might as well be one. Uh, just jump over that bubble so it doesn't get in my way. Those things are deceptively dangerous if they're around another obstacle. Jump over these guys. These ones are safe. Boing! Straight up through the water. Got a frame perfect spin jump on the note block. Doesn't actually help me. I was hoping to land on the spiny and do something extra. That was dumb. The, that guy will be there still though, so I'll just respawn him. Oh wow, he he moves left, so maybe if I jump over here. Does he hit the ground? Kind of. I'm gonna run out of time again, aren't I? I just feel it. Well, that works. It felt kind of glitchy, but it worked. Wait. Oh yeah. Well, that defeated the purpose of solving that puzzle, but whatever. <laughs> it's more uh, satisfying to actually solve the puzzle. These ones are safe note blocks, so I won't die while bouncing on them. And this will save my progress, so when I inevitably run out of time, I... it doesn't matter as much. Okay, bounce that guy to death. And kill you. Well, that was weird. So the interesting thing is that when you don't bounce high on them, you go the same height, but... Okay, so this is where they're gonna start getting nasty. Nice! I managed to get it. <laughs> that was close. And I get the re same reward just for completing the next obstacle. What do you do? <laughs> well, that didn't work it. Oh! I did not think that one through. <laughs> Alright, so I thought there was something on those blocks, which was why I was messing around last time. But this time around, I realized, oh, the... The point of that obstacle is probably not that there's something in those blocks. The timing was kind of bad there with the bounce. There we go, that's better. Wait, what am I... why did I do that? I just kind of oh, okay, I'm supposed to use that to spin jump on the spiny. If I was really confident in my frame-perfect spin jumps, I could do it that way, but I don't feel that confident. Wait, is that platform just gone? I don't think so. It really shouldn't have been. Okay, this time we spin jump here, and now we just gotta go back for that coin easy enough. And this also doubles as a way to get 50 points if I time it right, which is kinda hard. <laughs> Still haven't gotten it once. I don't usually get the 50 points, but I usually get pretty close. Considering the 50 points is frame perfect. Alright, this looks like a house. It looks kind of familiar after the first jump, considering there was just a house sitting in the middle of the plains that was kind of an oddball level that you couldn't really beat, didn't really count for anything. But this looks like a uh, refueling spot. So let's see what's in Yoshi's house. CD has to do. Uh, reset. Pick a side, press the switch, and win prizes if you guess correctly. Aesthetic Luigi. I'm assuming that's who made the level. Do I win the prize? Yeah, sweet. Okay, I I think I get how this works. Yoink. It, I think it actually will be random whether I get the key or not. Oh, so if I go into the pipe, I leave. But if I keep going, I might get a prize. Alright, so this is basically a lot like an actual game show. So let's see what's down there now. We got a moon. I think I'll go for the moon, actually. Just because those things stay gotten, I think. Oh wow, look at all those lives. Oh, I know this. This is a pretty cool life farm. Jump had a lot of creative life farms too, so I guess it's no surprise that we've got them in this game as well. 
Destiny of Grassland. <laughs> like, Destiny is such a over-the-top cool world word, and then Grassland is like <laughs> the most plain thing. I think I'll go one more level, honestly. But I think that'll be it after that. This looks like fairly normal so far. Nothing too weird with those platforms. And this seems to be warning me about the roto disc, I suppose. You can die. We've got some very sonic music here. And curvy pipes too, apparently. Let's burn some of these guys, get them out of my way. Drag coin number one, or so I hope at least. Anything in here? Nah. Dragon coins are all either going to be really easy or one of them's going to be like hidden in a pipe or something. Just gotta take my time with these things. They've got such a wide radius in this game that it's not too much, they're not too much of a worry. Are these walls solid? Yeah, they are. Okay. So I can nick the edge of them. That's good to know. I gotta stop trying to grab these mushrooms. The level doesn't have a filter, but it doesn't give me power-ups either, so I'm glad I have them already. Oh, that guy I can't kill. So that makes the setup a little bit more nasty. Whoops, I wasn't expecting the second boomerang to survive. And... <laughs> Suicide bros, the hottest new type of hammer bro. And I didn't do much better than he did there, to be honest, but... Alright, uh, I hope that pipe back there wasn't anything, because I'm too lazy to go back and check it. Let's try this one. Nope. It was a different color, so you never know. Great use of my power-up. Alright, now I can get in there. Thanks, helpful vine. Now I gotta be careful because this guy's not a suicide bro. Spin jumps, just in case he throws one, nothing weird happens. Alright, let's just let that one go. I was afraid of the first one because I was also devoting some focus to the wiggler. Oh, I almost took out the boomerang guy too. There we go. Kill him before he throws the second one to mess with me like the first guy did. Huh, so this setup puts the shell down there, but then I have to react somewhat quick before the second one gets thrown. Still not too bad. Pretty cool setups in this level. There we go, that was pretty safe. And now we've got... Whoa, they're changing radius. That's weird. Thanks, helpful suicide bro. Ah, oh, darn it. Looked like that pipe had stuff, so I'm gonna go in here. I wasn't sure which way was gonna be the way on. I'm starting to think this is the way on. SJ. S.A. Jewers, I'm assuming? Uh, is, does that say don't hold Y? Don't hold X or Y. Okay. Yeah, I, I get the point. Because we want to kick the shell, bounce on the guy, bounce on the next shell. <laughs> it's so weird not holding Y in this game. It just feels so wrong. Also, I got a whole pile of 1-ups there. Alright, that was pretty cool, and now I have my power-ups back again, which is also really cool. Uh, why don't you kill your friend? Now he's a homicide, bro. Poink. Alright, I guess I could do crazy jump through that guy to get the gold tape a little bit better, but I don't really care. Alright, so the first level, I mean, the first episode was relatively the LDC media player. Oh my gosh. Um, 
So the first episode was a lot more plain, I think, but it was still fun. It was a good introduction to the game, but this is where things are really turning up and we're getting a lot of weird and cool setups that Jump and Jump One Half are known for. So I'm excited for whatever's to come next. See you next time.